Hey, I'm Cameron McKenzie at CameronMCNZ on Twitter, and I wanted to talk to you about garbage collection and specifically garbage collection in Java and how to force garbage collection to happen. So I want to show you a couple of different ways to force garbage collection on the Java virtual machine. And when I say the word force, I mean suggest politely. As you can see, I got a little rock, paper, scissors application running here. And I've opened it up in Java Mission Control. And you can see, look at that. The memory is starting to go up and up and up. Looks like I've got some sort of a memory or allocation problem there. Well, how can I trigger garbage collection? Well, I put this little thing into my code where I say, hey, if somebody types in GC instead of rock, paper, or scissors, why don't we call garbage collection? So that's exactly what I'm going to do here. I'm going to type in GC, click OK. It's going to take me to this line here. I got a breakpoint, but notice that peak right up there. Look at what happens when I step over system.gc. Boom! We have now forced garbage collection on the Java Virtual Machine. So that is the first way that you can force garbage collection on Java. So I just triggered garbage collection with system.gc. Let's see if we can trim down these 30 megs of memory by calling runtime GC. So if I type in runtime here, it takes me to this line of code, runtime GC. Let's see what happens if I step over this code. Will this line go down and boom, all of a sudden we have forced garbage collection using runtime.getRuntime.gc. Now let's take a look at another way to force garbage collection. We're getting up there. I'm going to do the Java command here. It's going to tell me that my desktop game is running on port 7544. So I can do this jmap histo live on 7544. Click enter and bang. You can see that once again that garbage collection has been forced and the amount of memory that's being consumed has gone right down. So that is the jmap command. You know, you've also got the Java command as well. You can do jcmd and then you can specify that you want to do garbage collection. You want it to run on process 7544. Let's try this one. And actually, I think I got the process wrong. So 7544. Then we want garbage collection to run and click enter and then boom, we forced garbage collection once again. So there's another way that you can force garbage collection. You know, that's the Java diagnostic command. You can actually gain access to that right inside of Java mission control. So we can see memory getting up there right now. I can go to the Java diagnostic command window here, click on VM garbage collection run, click execute from here. It says, are you sure you want to do that? But that will run garbage collection. And if I come back to this window here, we'll notice that that's just caused garbage collection to happen once again, as it rises up there, I can do this all day long. Just run garbage collection again, execute. Okay, come back to the overview window. And you notice, bam, we've had garbage collection run once again. So there's another way that we can go in and run garbage collection. Do it right from the diagnostic command tool in Java Mission Control. And here's another way to force garbage collection. And when I say force, I mean suggested. I'm going to open up JConsole. Here's my JConsole running, and it's going to say, do you want to connect to that desktop game? I'm going to say, yes, I do. I'll click connect. It says it's going to be an insecure connection and I'm not too worried about that. Here we go. We've now connected to this virtual machine. I'm getting a little bit more information here on J console. I can click on memory. You can see that memory is going up and look at this fun little button over here that says, do you want to perform garbage collection? I'm going to let that just rise up just a little bit right there. Six, nine, let's get over seven. Here we go, eight, I'll click perform GC. And then boom, you notice both graphs take it right down to that baseline there. And so that's one more way to perform garbage collection. Now I do say force garbage collection, but I say that to be funny. You can never force garbage collection on a Java virtual machine. You can only make a suggestion. It is non-deterministic. So whether the garbage collector runs or not, you can never be quite sure.
And there you go, those are five different ways, maybe even six ways to force garbage collection in Java. And as I said, you can't really force garbage collection, but you can suggest it. Now, if you enjoyed that tutorial, why don't you head over to the server-side.com. I'm the editor-in-chief over there. We've got lots of great tutorials and articles on Java, enterprise software development, DevOps, you name it. If you're interested in my personal antics, you can always follow me on Twitter at CameronMCNZ and subscribe on the YouTube.